Hey folks, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Uh, my name's Drunk on Life, but you can call me Drunk for short, and we are following the story of Anna. And that definitely sounds like a helicopter. I just fell asleep. I'm seven days and two hours into this. 560 16 zombies killed. Wowzers, that's a lot of zombies in the past two days. In the past two episodes, we've actually gone out and decimated this. Now, I don't think there's going to be a lot of issues with um, zombies converging on my safe house and part of that deal number one this is sit kind of in between so they're gonna have to go through a lot of trees to get to me but more than that the last two episodes we've just killed off a lot i mean i think that i started off two episodes ago with like 200 zombies killed so we went through 300 zombies just decimated the uh, south part of silverton if that is the town what's called so i'm gonna go back in here and grab something to eat while i wait and see if we have it we're not running we're not going to run. We're going to stand here and fight. This episode is going to be a little bit slower than the last couple episodes. Um, because I am going to get my farming on. And maybe do a little foraging as well. Nothing yet. As you can see, my weight is going up. I'm at 76. Which is very good. Very good. And I don't suspect... Yeah, I don't, sus I don't suspect that we're going to have much issue here. Stick that in there, just in case. Just in case, so my weight can go down a little bit and I can actually fight if I have to. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Let's eat one of those. We have 20 of them. I think that'll last us at least one day, right? <laughs> this is actually quite the, uh, the place. And I don't suspect that they're going to um, come back, but we're going to uh, might as well read while we wait. I imagine the helicopter's coming back. And there it is. A light clockwork. There it is. Well, all right. So, let's see the next step. Got to need a trowel, I know. I'm gonna need a watering can too. We're gonna put our, I guess we'll put a garden right here. Now I gotta be, be honest with you folks, I have never messed with farming. I have no idea what to expect. Usually I die before I even get around to it. It's one of those things. And farming just doesn't sound like a fun thing for me. I'll make a few rows. I know I have some cabbage seeds and some broccoli seeds, so I'll just do two on this side and then skip a row so I can get in between them. Because I don't know if you know, how you, let's try this right here. So we got, I'm not sure if you step on the actual things. We'll grab the watering can. And I'm guessing I need to do cabbage and broccoli. Yummy. Sounds, sounds good. Sounds very good. All right. What can I do this? Ah, I got to open the packages. See? Total noob at farming. <laughs> Here we go. Go ahead and uh, sow these seeds. Sow in the seeds of love. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Very nice. I wonder how many... There we go. All right, and we'll put brock... I will put cabbage on the other side. looks good we'll just open one seed packet and so these as well I'm gonna have some cabbages and the reason why I did cabbages rather than carrots is because I've learned from Ghoul King who says that cabbages has the biggest nutritional bang for your buck so go ahead and do that more cabbage nice all right, so I don't know if, if I step on these, like if I walk straight through, I'm going to have an issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig. Not right there, but right there. So I have like a little way to, to walk around. There we are. One more. And there, and there. So if anybody has any farming tips for me, there any if there are any farmer browns or farmer kilas or farmer harems <laughs> let me know I, i'm guessing i get a lot more yield from my broccoli look at that 
I actually have more seeds, but I don't have any cabbage seeds. Isn't that weird? Oh, and that was that. That was the package. It says I have two more broccoli seeds. Oh, maybe I need... I got it. I got it. So I guess six six go to, uh, to I guess, a um, an area at a time. And when you have less, it's not going to do it. All right. Time to fill up my water pitcher up. Watering can. There it is. All right. Mission accomplished. I'm feeling pretty proud for myself. I'm homesteading it. Homesteading it. Drop it off. Now I'm going to just do full. I don't know if I need full or not, or if I can get away with just doing like water. Okay, I can do full here. Full. Oh, wow. So I can only water at 100, two at a time. Wow, that's crazy. So I'm going to go back and forth between here. Well, wow. right. Well, so if anybody knows how to make this easier, what the easiest way, the most efficient way is, please let me know in the comments. Like I said, I'm new. I'm brand new to farming. I've never tried it. Never messed with it. Always had, always ate junk food instead. All right. Well, I slept the night. It was okay. Very non-eventful. I did read my book, uh, Foraging. So I've got my foraging skills all the way up the, the bonus. And now I think I'm just going to. Maybe forge around a little bit. Let's move all this stuff, all my farming gear out. Green pepper stems. Can I do green pepper peppers? I can't. Maybe that will change when my farming skills go up. I don't know. I'm not real sure how that works. I am surprised. I thought I was going to get some points in farming, but I didn't. Let's go ahead and cut down. I want to cut down this tree right here because it's kind of wigs me out. Every time I walk by it, it makes brushing noises, which sound a lot like people coming through the trees. When I say people, I mean zombies. <laughs> All right, forage. Let's go ahead and forage right here. And I did learn a new trick. Uh, this is courtesy of Cromlet Archer. What you can do is if you press F, like, I don't know if many people know this, but the, uh, the, the time, you know, moving it faster to slow, what you can do it's starting to rain. Dang it. And I'm hungry. Um, the time is uh, F4, F5, and F6, I believe. Or maybe it's F3, F4, F5. Yeah, I think it's F3, F4, F5. F3 being the slowest, uh, the, like the normal time movement. Uh, F4 being medium and F5. So what you can do, and I watched him do this with cutting trees down on one of his Let's Plays. He would start to cut the tree down, hit F5, and it would roll through time. He'd knock it down, push it back to F3, and just repeat the process. So it kind of speeds things up a bit. Starting to get wet now. Can I get this done? Uh, I don't know. My cooking skill is moving up there as well, which is good. Not that, I mean, you need you know, boss uh, cooking skills, but, you know. All right. And here are some of the things I see. Berries, fresh berries. Nice. Now, I don't know if these uh, black sage and these berries, if they will uh, become rotten. I imagine they will eventually. Go ahead and pull up our stuff. A plantain, four of those. Wow, the ecosystem that is Kentucky. You got to love that. And makes plantains. Let's see what I can do here. Vegetable stir fry. I made some earlier. I'll go ahead and eat it all. I might try to make something else here later on. Let's fill our water bottle up. And we'll go back out and forge some more. Very nice. Well, I have I've never foraged like right when the game starts started, partially because I, I've been starting with six months later for so long. Move those MREs back in. I don't need those anymore. I can actually eat the black sage, huh? Well, that's good to know. 
I wonder if there's a way that I can store it to where it stays fresh. We're going to have to go back into town eventually. I am going to have to get some, uh, some other stuff as well. All right. Back into the rain. Eighteen percent full. But look at that! That foraging is moving up quite nicely, according to my skill points. A little bit tricky as far as moving it faster. Go nine percent full. Speed it up. There we go, and I'm wet again. Well, hell. Let's come over here and drop off some of this stuff. I should probably eat that. Let's see what the berries taste like. Hope it's not like a poisonous or whatever. Uh, we'll get rid of that. The stone. Willow bark. Get rid of it all. Alright, back to the to the house. Alright, so we need to find. I'm going to look at cooking here. What can I do? I can make a fruit salad. I've already made a fruit salad. I need some potato ingredients. You'd think that would be really good too. Cook a pot of chili. Look at all those ingredients it needs. That could be quite the problem. Cook a pot of rice pudding, rice and beans, risotto. Hmm. Jello into cubes. Quite some, some stuff. Let's see. Eggs. What can I do with eggs? Put eggs in carton. That's it. That's all I get. Maybe I need to take them out of the carton first. Yeah. Maybe I need to take them out of the carton first. Okay. Here and we're going to cook something. Where are the eggs? There it is. Okay, open the egg carton. Nice. Okay, and I... All right, so what can I do here? The egg, you can boil the egg, make homemade pancake batter, do all sorts of stuff. Okay. Do eggs go bad? I mean, in real life they do. Get a frying pan where we create a stir fry from, from an egg. See, this stuff, between the farming, the foraging, and the cooking, these these are things I'm just not familiar with at all. Let's add some uh, chicken. Eggs and chicken in my stir-fry. Yummy. What else can we add? What else sounds good? All right. Add another one, and there we go. Music to my ears. My cooking skill has gone up. Red corn. What else? I leak. I'm familiar with these. Minus 57 in hunger. Wow. That's crazy. Maybe if I add that, I'll have two more. Let's turn it on. And cook away. Like I said, I'm not real familiar with um, cooking, with farming, or with foraging. Although I know I should. Put those back in the freezer. Put the frying pan in the freezer too. Makes sense. <laughs> How's it coming? Speed it up. Stop it. Moving right along. Okay. Well, wow, minus 67 in hunger, minus 30 in happiness. Well, that's the way to do it to it. You got the food. Six months later, you don't you don't get this uh this the benefit of cooking fresh vegetables. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Right, it's ready. 
Let's eat this bad boy. Might eat like a quarter maybe? Yeah, just a quarter. See what happens. Full to bursting. Wowzers. That is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. I never get full of bur bursting with that stuff. We'll stick that in the refrigerator and what else do I want to do here? First aid for beginners. We'll go ahead and read that as well. All right. Well, I think I'm done here. Yeah, I think I'm done. Early. It's a little, It's a short episode, I know. I know. But uh, there really wasn't a lot going on. We were just foraging, farming, and uh, cooking and whatnot. But, I mean, you know, I mean, this is the way of Project Zomboid, right? I mean, it's the grind. And, you know, up to this point, I haven't really wanted to show this kind of stuff because it's kind of boring. Um, I feel at least. Maybe not to you guys. I don't know. At any rate, uh, if you guys have any suggestions on farming or cooking or foraging, let me know in the comments below. Uh, my name's Drunk on Life. You can call me Drunk for short. And I appreciate you guys watching. Um, the next episode, we're probably gonna, it's going to be a little bit more serious. We're going to go back into town. Probably going to continue to... Uh, search that south side of town as it is it seems like it would be safer at this moment safe safer at this time because of all the zombies that we've killed um there are a lot of houses i still need a metal works for for beginners um as well as a couple other books i believe we have trapping and fishing i don't know um anyway uh appreciate it Thank you so much. If you haven't subbed to my channel, you should if you like Project Zomboid. I do Project Zomboid videos three days a week, sometimes more, occasionally more, more than often than not, uh, maybe an episode less. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys, and I will talk to you guys on the flip side. See ya.